Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So on today's video, we're gonna be working on the GX470 again. This is my father-in-law's car, and I'm just doing a bunch of maintenance on this 20-year-old car, just on the little things inside and outside that have worn down. If you've been following this video series on the GX, I've been doing a bunch of maintenance items all over the car, the headlights, the trim moldings, and today, what we're going to be doing is the armrest. So the armrest in here is pretty crusty. And we're going to go ahead and replace it today with an aftermarket armrest leather replacement. So stay tuned. So as you can see, after almost 20 years of owning this car since it was brand new and sitting in the Florida sun, the armrests, which are really just made out of vinyl, are starting to get pretty crusty and they're worn down right here on the driver's side that's used very often. The passenger side is still pretty clean, it's just very lightly crusty. And for the seats on all the spots that get rubbed when you come in and out, you can see they're all pretty much worn out and discolored right there. But on today's video, we're just gonna go ahead and focus on the armrest as an easy replacement we'll go ahead and unbolt it I think there's like a 14 millimeter behind this cap and this whole thing comes out and you go replace it with the new leather replacement so the leather replacement we're gonna be using today is from KBH it was like 22 or 25 dollars so it's pretty affordable and you can go ahead and just get this on Amazon or on eBay if you need the same item go ahead and check out the links down in the description I'll link to the exact same ones I got but they look like they're pretty good quality. I read some of the reviews and everybody seemed to like it. So we'll go ahead and put this in today. So when I ordered this on eBay, they sent me a bunch of emails telling me how to install this and what to do to take the old one out and put this one on. One of the things you'll notice is there's no hole right here. You got to cut your own hole and put that cover back on when you snap it on or when you wrap it back on there. Overall, the leather quality or the vinyl quality looks pretty good. It, as you can see, it has the elastic and everything to wrap over the old one. And I'm not sure if you remove the old one completely or you just put this over I forgot I need to read the instruction again to make sure I follow what they tell me all right to remove this thing is pretty simple go ahead and just pop this thing off the cap using a cap popper or something and it comes right off of there put that to the side all right so we got a new ratchet get that in there All right, make sure you know how all the things go back together. So you got the bushing here, you got this nut, and then you got the whole assembly in here. And then that arm right there. So you can see that's pretty much it. We'll go ahead and take apart the other side and we'll go back, go back on the table and see how we take this thing apart. Pretty straightforward, easy install this. So this is one side. It is um, a little bit loose from what I can tell. So I'm not sure if they actually wanted you to actually just wrap your old one and call it a day, but looks like that might have been, that might have been the case where they, they wanted you to go over because this thing is way too loose. All right, so I went ahead and put the passenger side one back on, back to where the way it was, and we'll go ahead and try to get that thing on and see how it looks. Oh yeah, definitely tighter with it just wrapped over the factory one. Yeah, so it's designed to go over your factory one. So the only thing we need to do is cut the hole right here when we get inside, I'm just gonna go ahead Get a razor blade, just slit it, and then try to put the cap right onto it to push right in. All right, go ahead and do the driver's side one. Same as the passenger side one. Get it in here. Make sure you get all your seams right and everything's nice and tight, but yeah, looks good there. Go ahead and get the razor and slit this thing. Very much once. You get everything aligned the way you want it. You want to just make the cut. So you just got to make sure all the seams are nice. It all lines up with the factory seams and it's tight. Kind of locate the middle of your hole and just slit it. Let's go all the way to the edge. Do an X shape. So 
So we'll see how the cap fits onto there. All right, we'll go ahead and test fit the cap. So that, yep, the cap goes on perfect. So that's good. Just, you don't have to cut it all the way out. You just gotta slit it. You just wanna pop the thing back off. All right, now that we're good, we'll go ahead and reinstall it and see how it looks. Oh yeah, this thing turned out pretty dang good. Look at how nice and clean it is. It is a little bit different tone as far as the gray is versus the OEM, but it probably doesn't really matter after you dirtify it a little bit, maybe put some leather cleaner on it, it'll probably match a little bit better, but it's much better than that crustiness that was there before. But as you can see, pretty simple, just slip on fit. The only really custom thing you have to do is cut the hole, but other than that, it's a pretty basic on and off install. Hey guys, thanks for joining me all the way to the end of this quick video on doing this upgrade or this repair for the armrest as you can see very simple install i thought you had to remove the cover but you don't just gotta slip it on cut the hole and put it back on so if you found this video useful give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel to stay on top of all my different diy videos go ahead and subscribe to the channel like this video remember guys for all these different projects if i can do it you guys can do it i want to thank you for watching i'll talk to you guys next time